Dornbush download 190 with some exotic settings today. The beautiful sandstone building, the old post office building here in Margaret Street. Uh, Michael, welcome. Good morning, Andrew. Welcome. Yeah, it's very and nice out here at the moment. Gorgeous. Getting our vitamin D or whatever vitamin you get when the sun's shining on you. <laughs> um, so, Michael, what's happening? Share market's a little upset this morning. Yes, Andrew. No, uh, and it's all about Italy, it seems, at the moment. Um, uh, and a little bit been bubbling away uh, in Italy and, and, you know, a quick 30 second uh, sort of synopsis, you know, they dissolved the parliament back in March. Uh, the president, whose name uh, escapes me now, Sergio, someone, I think. Um, but uh, effectively, there's been two political parties but butting heads, the League and also the, uh, the Five Star Movement. Uh, sounds a bit like a boy band, doesn't it? But uh, 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 certainly the Five Star Movement is quite an anti Eurozone okay. uh, party. Uh, effectively, last night we saw the president in Italy uh, effectively uh, knock back, I guess, the finance minister's suggestion that the coalition had put forward. So it's looking now that Italy may go back to the polls again. Um, but oh, look, a long story short, Andrew, just heaps of uncertainty. Is Italy going to leave the, the Eurozone? Um, you know, Italy's a, a substantial economy, you know. I think it's, it's the eighth. percent Yeah, it's the eighth biggest in the world. What do they um, make? On GDP. What do they um, make? What do the Italians make? I'm not trying to put you on the spot here, yeah, but, like, what do they do? You know? Agriculture's a big one, and I think yeah. um, uh, tourism as well, of course. Like so. the French. What do you reckon the French are in? Like, I went, mm -hmm. oh, the French would be into, you know, champagne. The biggest thing for France is chemicals. They mm -hmm. are the biggest manufacturer of chemicals in the world. There you go. There good, you on go. The, good on the French, you say. <laughs> but, uh, but this is it. You know, Italy's a substantial economy, and, uh, you know, it's not like a Greece um, uh, or a Portugal or something like that. It's Serious. Third biggest economy in the euro, uh, and if you compare it to, say, Australia, Italy, I think, is about $1.8 trillion in US uh, terms. Australia's about $1.2 trillion. So, uh, again, it's bigger than South Korea, bigger than Russia, um, bigger than Brazil. So um, It's pretty it's serious stuff if, if things start going awry, but my reading of it is like yours. Like, mm -hmm. This is way too early mm -hmm. to be sort of, you know, running around with their hair on fire those of us who have hair. So, yeah, I, I mean, you know, I think it's my take on it is, you know, just be cautious. Yeah, exactly. It's going to be wobbly. No one's really going to know. I don't think the Italians know. Uh, the they don't so, know. So how are we <laughs> going to know? But, yeah, it's going to be a bit wobbly over the next couple of weeks, no doubt. And as we saw last time, you know, the, the southern Europeans were all copying it. You know, the Spanish were off. Mm -hmm. The Greeks are off, whereas the northern European, you know, the French, the Germans, you know, they're holding strong. And my reading of it last night was these, Euro you know, if we go sort of into Armageddon mode, the EU will only blow up if Germany walks away. If all the peripheral ones start going soft, that's a problem. But when the Germans walk away, that's where we probably should start getting worried. Yeah, and that's it. And it's almost sort of this contagion fear, isn't it? You know, we've seen the UK do it. You know, will Italy do it? And of course, if Italy does it, will someone else do it? And, you know, yeah. before you know it, you've got seven or eight you know, economies wanting to pull out, but again, early days, and there's going to be a lot of water to go under the bridge over the coming months. So, so I think it's hold the line for the time being. Mm -hmm. uh, probably the other thing to briefly mention, sorry, yeah, I'm stealing yeah, your you're thunder. Right, you're jet setting, I, uh, I understand. We have one minute to go, thank you, Lindsay. <laughs> Um, see, we, we spoke for three minutes about Italy. Who, who would have thought? Um, so, yeah, I'm off to uh, the US and Canada over the, uh, the next three weeks. I'm um, doing uh, Standard & Poor's, uh, kind enough to take a study group over, paying for it myself. It's not, they're not paying. But uh, we're getting access to, in particular, around exchange-traded funds, and that's something we've been talking a lot about, you know, uh, product manufacturers, how advisors are using them in the US. And as we've spoken about before in the US, you know, over half the trades on the New York Stock Exchange are now ETFs. So it's a really big thing coming to us. So to be um, asked to go over and sort of be part of this study group is a really interesting and I'm really looking forward to it. And if I get a chance, I might do a couple of mini downloads. We won't sort of cut Lindsay out of it, but a couple of mini downloads, 30 seconds, you know, in Chicago or New York or whatever those cases. So, yeah, it should be uh, good fun. Yeah, 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 and it is. It's really the cold face, isn't it, of, um, of product development over there. So, no, there should be some really good insight, no? So looking forward to sharing those with you. And the baseball, however that's going to work. Anyway. The, the obligatory uh, picture with the bull and all that sort oh, of thing. Oh, goes without saying. Yeah, goes yeah, without yeah. saying. Anyway, I'll see you in about three weeks' time. Till next week. Thank, Thank you. you.